Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. The good, the bad and the ugly. Yes, that's the name of my video today. So, let's get started. It's Thursday, whatever date in February. And I thought I'd do a bit of a video because I have some good news. Good news is I got some unexpected happy mail that I want to share with you. I have opened it. I couldn't resist. It was such a big parcel. Ta -da, ta -da. I'm not sure what's on there. Look at all those stamps. Ta -da, ta -da. This is from my Yanni friend Colleen in South Australia. Colleen, I can't thank you enough. You should naughty girl. You shouldn't have sent this, but it is appreciated. So, because it felt was quite packed tight and hard, I did open it, and inside is a pattern book. I'm going to need glasses. Romantic crochet. And look, on the back, there's a tea cosy. I made a very vintage, um, similar scallop one, but I've never sort of got the top to look that nice. But there are 20 beautiful crochet patterns in natural colours. It's a that funny yarn, Schwepski, Schwep, however you pronounce it. There are some beautiful patterns in there. I really like this um, shawl pattern here. So that's one of the things in my Happy Mail. Now, what came out when I pulled that out is, ta-da, these. <laughs> so in here is a little Notions pouch. Oh, wow. It's got stuff in it. I didn't get that far. There's a stitch counter in orange. Some butterfly buttons, penguin buttons, wooden buttons, aren't they? So cute. I won't take them all out because I'm a bit shaky and I'll explain why later. And some tea bags because she knows I like tea. Strawberry and raspberry and um, Loganberry, there's two of those, three of those. And then there's black currant and bl blueberry. I've never had that one. So they'll be nice and enjoyable to have, especially in this humid weather. So that's what was in my lovely psychedelic, very um, rock 2022 notions pouch. Isn't that lovely? And then in here also is more patterns, <laughs> different throws, sugar pot throw, and these are all the same sort of Shrepsky or however you pronounce it, Shrepsky's patterns for throws. And then there's Bunny's Best Friend, a lovey, a bunny rabbit lovey pattern and blanket. Isn't that lovely? And then in here is, I have to open it up so you can see it, a polar bear <laughs> knitting bag. It's got a oh, craft bag. It's got holes in the top. It's got polar bears, my favorite. I don't know if you can quite see it that well. There you go. Covered in polar bears. Wow. She is so, uh, such a naughty girl. It's nice and roomy inside. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Look at that. And it doesn't stop there because there's still more in there here. Now, pulling out this bag. It has her note, which I've read, I have read, and three little teddy bears. Look at that. Aren't they cute? She thought I might like to make some lovies for these little teddy bears. They're really soft and cute. Teddy Time Baby Australia. I've never seen those in a lovely organza bag that I will put to good use. And then there is two, three, 
four balls of Smart Craft yarn in my favourite colour, orange. There's four of them. Ta da! I've never seen Smart Craft yarn. The colour is, oh, it says pumpkin, eight ply, 100 grams, 100% acrylic. So there you go. That was my happy news today. It arrived late yesterday and I thought I'll do a video today just to touch base. And Colleen, you certainly didn't need to send me anything, but it is lovely to get surprise happy mail and such thoughtful happy mail like you've done my favourite colour and polar bears and pattern books. Thank you so much. I won't read her note out. I'm going to keep that private. Um, but that is lovely. So, keeping with the good news. I often comment on videos that have giveaways and I don't think much about it later. Other than Crystal from Bag A Day. Um, and I do appreciate some giveaways can only be in the Northern Hemisphere. Because postage is astronomical. For example... Reeves um, did a favour for a lady. Um, he actually thought she was one of my crafting group, but I've never heard of her. Um, she was part of a forum that he belongs to, to do with gaming or sport or something. And there was something in Australia she wanted to buy, but they wouldn't deliver to Israel. And he got, she, he got her to get it delivered here to us. And then he, because it arrived in like a padded bag and it was going to Israel, he boxed it all up for and put glad wrap, um, bubble wrap all inside to keep it safe. And then he shipped it off to Israel for her, which we can do that as long as it's not drugs or illegal. It wasn't anything like that. Um, but he said he nearly fell over. It was $80 Australian to mail it to Israel. And that was actually reduced because he went to my post office and the lady said, why there said, use mum's account because I have an account that gives me a small discount. It would have been about $90. It would have cost her Australian. I don't know what that is in money for Israel. But um, yeah, he said, wow, it is so expensive. But yeah, the company that she wanted it from wouldn't even consider sending it to Israel because of the freight costs. So I do appreciate getting happy mail from even ladies in Australia. It's really expensive and especially overseas. So back to my second lot of good news. I often watch Charm Grammy Crochet, see what she's up to because she does a lot of great projects. And she's packing different projects and scrap yarn for her vacation. And then she announced the winner of a um, giveaway she had for um, Amigurumi Wars, these three patterns. And I did comment on that video because I haven't done Amigurumi for ages. I think I stopped last year when I started to learn and I won the three patterns. I was blown away. As we say here, I couldn't win a chook in a chook raffle. Honestly, I rarely win anything. And it was, the patterns were from Anita at YOH Crochet. Now I'm going to put links to these patterns, to her channel and these patterns in the description below. Because what caught my eye was when Charm Grammy was showing Jumping Jay. And here he is. Jumping Jay is a frog that um, Anita from YOH Crochet designed. And when I was watching the video, she was giving away one. And then at the end, she gave away all three. So that is one. Jumping J is named after Jax, a, a fellow content creator. And I will explain Amigurumi Wars, sort of. And she designed him for her. And yes, that's the first one. I printed them off today. The second one is um, Joe. Oh, I have to put my glasses on. Jojo B, named after Joe's web. Now, she's just done a video after being absent for a while. So I'm going to link these channels in the description below. That is so cute. And then the third one is called Avalanche. Now, this is named after a dog on Crochet Coffee and Cuddles, I think, Cuddles and Coffee channel. Uh, I haven't watched channels for ages. 
But yes, this is Avalanche after one of her beautiful dogs. I do remember the dogs. They are so white. I can't imagine how she keeps them so white. But they were the three patterns I won from Charm Grammy. And that is awesome. Because, yeah, mailing giveaways from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere is just beyond ridiculous. Um, and patterns are a good prize because they can be sent through the email PDF and they don't cost as much. So I am thrilled to have got these. The decision will be which one to make first because I am planning on at least making one. I have a feeling it'll be jump, uh, uh, Jumping J uh, because I have some green yarn. And when I was younger, I had two other friends called um, Joe and Jodie and we were known as the Jumping Jays. Um, We've sort of drifted a little bit apart as we've got older and moved around. But, yeah, I have a feeling he'll be the first one I make. Thank you to Lynette at Charm Granny for um, purchasing and sent, giving those patterns away. And to Anita at YOH Crochet for sending them to me. Um, they are on Ravelry. All the links of these patterns will be in the description below. I do believe some of um, Colleen's stuff came from the UK and she would have been waiting for that to arrive. I'm trying to... Um, there's a channel that I have to check out. It's called Loose, Lulu Loves Crochet and she has... I think she must have... Um, sell stuff on Etsy and that's where she's bought some of this in the UK so I'll have to check that channel out. I needed that good news because there was bad news earlier in the week. Well um, first of all we lost a friend to um, stage four kidney cancer. It was expected. He did manage to last four years and he was our age and that was on Saturday and it was you know even though you know that they're going to go eventually, it's still quite sad. Um, I dropped my phone at the scholarships twice and cracked corners of the screen, but it was still working. And I thought, well, I'm not going out to get a new phone. And then Saturday night, I must have been sitting somewhere crocheting and thing went to move things and it, my phone went flying across the room. We have porcelain tiles down and it landed there and the crack got bigger and it was still working but woke up Sunday morning my phone wouldn't work and couldn't be repaired I've had to go and buy a new phone so I have the new Galaxy which is released on the 4th or 3rd of March on order so that was second lot of bad news third lot of bad news was I haven't been able to knit or crochet for a few days for some unknown reason my right shoulder in the middle of my back keeps spasming the muscles and down my arm and yeah it's quite sore and I'm right-handed and if I I can crochet a little bit but I have to stop I barely can get a row done on my lap bands and knitting seems to be worse the doctors put it down to I had my kitchen renovated I spent a fortune on it and it seems to be when I work at my benches I made um, dog biscuits for pet biscuit appreciation day for my dog Saxon and he doesn't like them he won't eat them I did a lot of um, dinner cooking normally when I work I come home and thing has done all the prep he's my sous chef all the veggies are diced I just basically put it all together but the last two nights he was really busy and I did the prep and the cooking and the doctor seems to think it's like standing at this bench that's too high. Um, but yeah, I may have to put a runner board like a step in front of my bench for me to work on. But it is getting better. He did prescribe some a really strong painkillers that I haven't taken um, oxycodone or something and yeah Reeves was a little perturbed because he said they're quite strong and addictive I have used um, Voltaren creams and heat pads and rested it just don't crochet so that's the bad part of my video the ugly
The ugly is something I found not in my garden, but just over my fence um, in the nature strip behind my garden. I actually, that's where my washing line is, and it's sort of like a dog run when we need to um, pen Saxon up from the rest of the yard. Um, but I was hanging out washing and I noticed this thing and it was hanging from a very thin branch or brown and and I had a closer look through my binoculars and I couldn't work out what it was. It's definitely something weird. So I actually posted it on my personal Facebook page, a picture of it. And Doreen, Emma's mum, New Arranger, and they contacted me. And it is what is known as the processing procession caterpillar. They're very hairy caterpillars. They come out of their sack at night to feed and they go back in at dawn and they press, they, they come out and they go in a line. They have to touch the back hairs of the caterpillar in front. Uh, they're quite um, nasty. Their hairs are toxic. They can cause really bad skin rashes and make you sick. They eventually will um, pupae and do whatever and turn into a moth. The ranger said to stay away from them, leave them alone if they're not in your yard. I have taken a photo of it and I'll put it at the end. It's very ugly. Um, he did say to me that a lady up on the tableland actually has 70 of these cocoon sack things hanging from trees in her backyard and they have to go in and remove them. And he said it's really only worthwhile. It's only, it's better for a ranger, a park ranger to remove them because they're quite nasty and you can get quite sick from touching them. Um, it looks like a plastic bag hanging from a tree with something in it, but it's actually their silk cocoon thing that they live in until they're ready. Um, and it's full of feces and insect stuff. And he said, one of those bursts, you'll smell it. It smells rancid. So yeah, that's my ugly. So today I've shared with you the good, my happy mail. Thank you again, Colleen. You spoil me. The bad is, you know, few things go wrong. There was one other bad thing I forgot about. I was actually crocheting sat Monday night, sitting there, you know, one of those shows you play in the background you don't really watch, and Reeves walked in and said, have you got audio for a reason and no picture? And I went, no. The TV went. So that's a new phone and a new TV and a spasming shoulder. That was my bad news. But as they say, it swings and roundabouts because I went through all of that looking at this ugly thing over my fence and then the good stuff arrived. My happy mail from Colleen and my patterns from Lynette and Anita. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's yarn adventures. I haven't made anything, of course. But yeah, just a bit of interesting news and sharing with you my happy mail and pattern books. I've decided after watching a few people's videos that I'm going to do some things from my patterns. Like I know Terry from Yarn Joy is doing Stitch Library. Um, Ella from No Catchy Name is doing Stitch Library. Um, Abby from Blue Heart Crochet is doing Stitch Library. So I might do a few Stitch Library videos because I am getting quite a few pattern books and, thing, and patterns I've paid for that I really should be doing and making stuff for. So until next time. Stay safe. Take care. Don't forget to leave a comment on the good, the bad and ugly in your week. Bye for now. Hi, I forgot to tell you about Amigurumi Wars. I don't fully understand how Amigurumi Wars works. I know Anita at YOH Crochet put it together and it's different content creators each month. You suggest patterns. They pick patterns. I know it's two paid for patterns and so many free patterns. And um, you make an amigurumi and post pictures and I think you can win like a little treat of a prize. Look, I'm going to put a link in the description below to um, Anita's YOH Crochet Amigurumi Wars. I highly recommend you jump in and have a go. I have so much on the go at the moment. I watched um, Laura from Mad uh, Mimi's Farming and Crochet today. She's hosting March. Um, and yes, 
I'll see what patterns come up, but they have to be easy for me. So guys, sorry I forgot about that, but that's the way it goes when you're doped up on painkillers. Bye for now.